Hey there. Thanks for tuning in to the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. My name is Gavin Garley, and today we're going to talk about SNB23 multi domain optimization in a single forest. We're going to have a quick overview of multi domain optimization. We'll provide some prerequisite videos that you may want to review. And we're going to demo the steps it takes to get this configured. All the requirements for domain join, SMB23 domain communications, and end to end Kerberos will apply to SMB23 multi domain optimization. In addition, the domains will need to be in an acceptable trust, which by default are a two way transitive trust between parent and child domains in a single forest. Each separate domain is going to require its own properly configured Kerberos replication account that you'll add to the Steelhead Service Accounts page. The steps to configure this are the same for Steelhead CX, Steelhead EX, and Steel Fusion Edge devices. If you want to know more about the prerequisites for multi-domain optimization, you can review the domain join end to end Kerberos authentication and SMB23 domain communications videos that are available on the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. Let's jump into the demo. So we're back in the lab on our Steelhead EX server side device. Let's do a quick review of what we already should have configured. Under optimization, go to domain join under Active Directory. You can see that the server side steelhead is already joined to the domain. The domain name is nh2k8dom.lab and the join type selected was Active Directory Integrated Windows 2008 and later. Additionally, under Optimization Service Accounts, down at the bottom you can see that we already have our Kerberos replication user, username KerbRepl, for the nh2k8dom.lab added to the appropriate section. So on our primary domain controller for nh2k8dom.lab, under Users, you see where we have already created and properly configured our curb REPL user account. In addition, under Active Directory Domains and Trusts, you can find that we have a child domain named child.nh2k8dom.lab. You can also see that on the properties of this object under Trusts, we have our transitive two-way trust in place as this is a child domain. Now we're on our child domain controller. You can see that the host name is WinSRV2012DCB and it's in child.nh2k8dom.lab. Here we are in aduck for child.nh2k8dom.lab and under users we're going to create our second replication account specific to this child domain. So let's go to new user and we're going to name this user curb repl b and the login name will be B REPL B. Now let me set a password. We'll say that the user cannot change the password and the password never expires. We'll also point out that the IP address of this server, this child domain controller, is 1.1.1.66. 1 
Now that we have the curb B REPL B account created in the child.nh2k8dom.lab, let's run through the delegation wizard real quick to give it the appropriate Kerberos replication permissions. Again, choose create a custom task to delegate. Leave the delegate control of default this folder, existing objects in this folder, and creation of new objects in this folder. For general permissions, we're going to add replicating directory changes. directory changes all and finish now let's swing back over to our server-side steelhead we're back in our lab on our server-side steelhead the next thing that we need to do is add that child domain Kerberos replication user Kerb B into the service accounts page. We'll go to optimization and service accounts. We'll scroll down and we're going to add a new user for replication users and the active directory domain name was going to be child.nh2k8dom.lab and the user domain is the same child.nh2k8dom.lab and our username that we created was curb repl b and we put in the password and we'll add that in and we'll go to reports current connections And see that our destination IP is filtered down on 1.1.1.66 update no current connections so let's connect to our child domain controller we're gonna go to backslash backslash win SRV 2012 DCB dot child dot NH 2k 8 Dom dot lab and we'll be connecting to the backslash sysval share All right, connection made. Let's do an update on current connections. You can see that we now have a connection to 1.1.1.99 to 1.1.1.66, which are child domain controller. You can also see that we have layer seven optimization for SMB 3.0 signed traffic. Let's take a look at the syslogs. And here you can see 1.1.1.99 is connecting to 1.1.1.66 over port 445. It's attempting Kerberos authentication. We're looking up the keys for our child domain controller, WinSRV 2012 DCB. And we have successfully replicated the keys for that child domain controller. Thanks again for tuning in to the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. I hope that you found this content helpful. And if you did, please subscribe and feel free to comment. Have a great day, everybody.